Alright, Mike. I'll see you later, man. See you, buddy. Yeah. You're, looking, you're looking super jacked, man. That was awesome. That was a good workout. I think that workout got me too jacked. We got day number four here, calling it two jacks. So Sean's gonna take us through it and let you know more about it. Let's see it, Sean. All right, guys. So, starting with our warm up, we're gonna go for six minutes and we're gonna have a buy in of 100 jumping jacks. After you complete your 100 jumping jacks, with the remaining time in the six minutes, you just cycle through three walkouts, five burpees, 12 squats. After you finish your six minutes, we move into our mobility. For our mobility, we're gonna be doing 30 to 45 seconds of each of these, starting with passovers. Uh, then we're gonna move into our lat stretch, so we do 45 on either side. Same thing for our chest stretch, and then we're gonna finish in the bottom of the squat stretch. After that, moving into our strength, we're gonna do five rounds of this. You're gonna do 20 dumbbell floor press, that's 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and 20 dumbbell row. Again, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. We're gonna rest about 90 seconds in between rounds and we're gonna do five total rounds of that. After that, for our workout, we're gonna do a 14 minute AMRAP and you're gonna do as many rounds as possible of 10 push-ups, 14 dumbbell clean and jerks. That's gonna be done from the hang and it's gonna be seven on one side, seven on the other side, and then 18 sit-ups. That's what we're looking at, awesome. All right, so we're gonna move on over to the floor. We'll uh, take you guys through the workout and scaling options and go from there. Okay guys, so let's get into it. Starting on our warm up, buy-in, 100 jumping jacks. So starting with feet and hands together, jumping wide, we're gonna do 100 straight jumping jacks. After that, with the remaining time, as many rounds as we can, of three walkouts. So you're gonna walk out, push up position, do a push up, walk back to standing. If we're gonna scale that push up at all, we're gonna walk it out. Drop to the knees, do your push-up from your knees, back up to your toes, and then back up to stand. After your walkouts, five burpees. So, hands go to the floor, feet jump out, chest to the floor, and then jump up nice and tall at the top of that burpee. After your five burpees, 12 uh, air squats. So, driving those knees out, keeping the heels down, nice tall chest, we're looking for good quality squats, 12 reps. After that, for our mobility, we're going to do 30 to 45 seconds of each, starting with Passover. So, with a uh, towel, broom, or a dowel, whatever you have available, grip just wide enough so we're able to keep those arms straight all the way around your back, back to your front. After we get our uh, Passover's done, then we're going to pick a side, do a last stretch, so just planting that pole or dowel or whatever you have, and just try to get that stretch right down your side there. One side, and then we'll do the other side. After we get our last stretch on the other side for our chest stretch, We'll just go up to the wall, we're going to put our hand just around shoulder height and then use the other hand to push yourself out and away from the wall, just looking for a stretch through the chest there. One side and then the other side. After that, we're going to finish with the bottom of the squat stretch, so just driving those knees out, letting those hips sink down between your heels, nice tall chest in that position. Okay? Then, for our strength, we're starting on our floor press. So, using your dumbbell or kettlebell, we're going to start by lying on the floor, setting that weight just beside you, we're going to roll it onto your chest and then you can use both hands to help set it up, up in front of you there, locked out, and then use the other hand for balance, bringing your elbow down to the floor about a 45 degree angle off your shoulder, so not straight out, not right against your body, you're looking for right in between, right there. Alright, down to the floor and then back up. We get 10 on one side, then we'll switch and get 10 on the other side. Switch her over to the other side, same thing on the other side. So if you are doing it with a kettlebell, we are looking to keep that kettlebell over onto the back of your arm there. Alright, after you do your 20 floor press, then we're going to do 20 dumbbell or kettlebell row. So, uh, we're going to allow you guys to use the uh, leg for stability on this. So I'm going to do a lunge stretch, one arm on the leg, and the other arm you're going to be rowing up and back. So still trying to get the body relatively close to parallel with the floor and then pulling that weight up and back towards your hip, really trying to feel that in the back there, okay? 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. We're going to take about 90 seconds rest in between our rounds of that, okay? 
Okay, so you do your floor press right into your dumbbell row, and then you take the break. Five reps. For our workout, we're going to be starting with push ups, starting with 10. So on your toes, all the way down, chest to the floor, all the way up until your arms are locked out. 10 reps. If you need to scale the push ups, we can go from the knees, chest touch to the floor, all the way up to locked out arms. Try to keep that hip straight, even if you are going from the knees. Okay? Uh, then 14 dumbbell cleaning jerks. We're going to do seven on one side, then seven on the other side. We're going to be doing it from the hang too. So you stand up tall, you go down between your knees, then to the shoulder and overhead. Seven on one side, then you do seven on the other side. All right. After our dumbbell clean and jerk, then we're going to finish with 18 sit-ups. For our sit-ups, bottoms of the feet together, knees out. You're just going to sit back, touch the floor behind your head, sit up, touch your feet. 18 reps on our sit-up. And we're going to be cycling through that sequence for 14 minutes, see how many rounds we can get. 10 push-ups, 14 clean and jerks, 7 on either side, and 18 sit-ups. Easy as that. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.